What's going on guys, Orzu here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new flashback player objective card to review and it is going to be Sule. He is back and he's looking amazing. He has got 88 pace with 75 dribbling, 93 defending, 92 physicals with 70 passing as well. He's a 6 foot 5 centre back which means that reach is going to be unreal. He's got medium medium work rates with 2 star skill moves and a 3 star weak foot. Now the chem style, the physicals are already unreal so you might as well just try to max out his pace with this shadow chem style he has got 99 acceleration and 98 sprint speed that right there is going to be insane to have on a six foot five center back he's shooting i mean 72 long shots 90 shot power doesn't look terrible for a center back well, I doubt he's going to get himself into an opportunity to go for a long shot anyway. His passing ability, 93 short passing looks very solid. Long passing being at 82 is pretty nice as well. The vision being at 68 isn't so great. I'm expecting those over top through walls with him not to really work out. But the simple switches, yeah, they should work out really well. The dribbling ability. Mm. They actually did give him a... Uh, a nice boost, like plus 8 agility, plus 10 balance, plus 4 reactions, plus 6 ball control, plus 7 dribbling, and a plus 4 composure. We're comparing him to the showdown card, by the way. So yeah, it is a uh, very nice upgrade to the dribbling, but still, it doesn't look anything amazing. The reactions, though, being at 90 is very solid, and the composure being at 86 is pretty good as well. The defending, just look at it. Just look at it. Only one stat is at 99, and it's the defensive awareness being at 96. I'm expecting him to be a defensive beast and the physicals as well 87 stamina unreal 99 strength unreal 92 aggression unreal now the links plays for Bayern he's German as well he obviously plays in the Bundesliga the links are simply incredible you can get a hyperlink with someone like team of the season uh, Kimmich you get a strong link with Alfonso Davis you obviously get a strong link with not strong sorry hyperlink with a player like Neuer as well so yeah the links insane Positions, one position, one position only. Centre-back position today in a 4-4-2 uh, formation. So let's get into the games and let's see how good Sule is going to be. Is he going to drive that? He is. I reckon he's going to go for a pass down. And Sule, with that reach, sticks his foot out and he does get the ball. Not possession-based, but he got onto it. He could go for a through ball there. He doesn't, though. Ronaldo, he's just doing skill moves with Ronaldo. And Sule is not going to allow that to happen. Look at that strength. Look at that strength. Keep it going. Go on. Keep it going. He's not going to get the ball from him. He ain't going to get the ball from him. So I might as well just pass it. Through the middle. That's a good pass. But look at Sule. Look at that reach. He was on the other side of Jota. And he still got the ball. He's going to through what that. He does. I'm just going to step here with Sule. That is a terrible fake shot. And Sule gets out to the player really quickly. And puts in a good tackle. He's going to go for a through there, right? Yeah, I'm just going to control Sule here. Come over. Help out Sol Campbell a little bit. Step in. At a perfect moment, and we do come out with the ball. His reach is so, so, so good. Like, you don't have to be close to the player because you know when you click the tackle button, he's just going to stick out his leg very far out, and it's somehow he's going to collect the ball. That's a good through ball. I'm going to step there, though. Go on, Sule. Use that strength to get Jota off the ball. Keep it calm. Can I get a drill and pass into Witzel? I can't. I'm going to just pass it down the line there, though. I promised you guys, I tried to turn there. I tried to turn there, but he just didn't want to turn. And that's that agility. That's him being a little bit slow. I see my winger open on the other side. We're going to go for the overtop through ball. Hold on a second. That was a very good pass. I didn't expect it to curve that much either. Let's go for another switch. Go for that overtop through ball. And that is a very good pass. Like Foden wins it this time. Last time, I think Mitchell won it, right? But it was still a very, very solid pass. Can we get this maybe? There you go. We eventually get it. His transition speed there was very nice. It didn't feel heavy. It felt quite uh quite light, let's say. And he was very fast as well. He's probably going to try to one-two it with Diaz. I'm going to step here because that is a terrible fake shot. And we do come out with a ball. Go on, keep it going. There you go. We'll roll that. Nice touch. Go for the other top through ball. And it's a decent pass once again. He's going to through ball that down the line. I'm just going to step with Sule. He has to go for a cutback now. No, he didn't get himself into the right animation. We can't get that one, but we eventually... Come on, EA. There's no way we have to tackle him three times. Three times there to get the ball. He's going to go for a through ball, right? Yeah, Sule's here, though. Look how fast he is. He is so, so quick in that centre-back position. Like, I tracked that run with him. And then all of a sudden, I uh, decided, okay, he's not going to get in behind Sule. So let me just charge at him. And he was so quick to get out to him. 
go for a ball roll, go for a few turns, go on, accelerate through the space. Nah, this is what I mean. I can't do too much with him. Like, he feels decent on the ball, but he doesn't feel anything up there, let's say. Like, he definitely does feel better, though, than his, uh, than his showdown card. I can definitely, definitely say that. It's just, yeah, it still isn't anything amazing. And I thought I was going to go in for a second. I'm just going to charge at Cruyff here. Let's go in for a slide tackle. You see what I mean? Look how fast he is at getting out the players. That is ridiculous. Is he going to through ball to Cruyff? He might. Or is he going to take a long shot? Go on, Tule. No way. It went under his legs. Are you serious? Get that ball, Tule. Get it over him. Go on. Decent challenge. I don't know if he won it, though. Like, the guy red-timed it, so... It wasn't going to be a good shot anyway. And I'm trying to think if that was the shot. The thing is with Sule, like, yeah, he's six foot five, but his jumping ability is terrible. And that was a mistimed slide tackle, but we still come out with a ball. He's just going to accelerate into the space. He might go for a pass. Yeah, there you go. We read that. It bounced off Sol Campbell for a second. I thought Petit was going to come towards me, so I started panicking. Go on, Foden. Once again. Honestly, his passing ability, like those overtop through balls are working really well. That's the third time I've done that. And uh, they have got onto Foden twice, but they got really close to Foden. So yeah, it's a better pass than what I expected. He's going to pass it into the middle. He doesn't. I'm just going to push towards him. Go on Sule. Just use that strength. Get Butra off the ball. You see how easy that was for him? Let's try to push out with Sule there so he doesn't go for that pass to Cruyff. But he didn't end up doing it. And that is a bad touch. Go on, please. That's EA though, isn't it? That is EA. Like, we came out with a ball nicely. It's just... Butra decided he wanted to tackle last second, so it bounced away. No pass into the middle there. Second man pressed out with Sule. Gonna go in for a slide tackle. And look at those, lo those long legs. They actually got to the ball. I just panicked there. I thought he got past me way too easily. So, yeah, I just went for the slide tackle to see what was gonna happen. Go on. That's a good cut in. Is he gonna pass it? He isn't, but look at that for a block. Like, I knew he was gonna go for the long shot as soon as I saw him cut in. So, I selected Sule. Rush towards the player and he sticks out his leg and uh, obviously blocks it really nicely. He could through ball that. Go on, Sule. I need your pace. That's a good slide tackle. That's a very good slide tackle. I thought he was going to go like across him, but he just went directly for the ball. Once again, I'm going to press towards Lewandowski here. He's trying to take me to the line, Sule. Go on. That's a very interesting tackle. It looked like Sule just passed it. Rather than tackling the ball, it looked like he backheel passed it. Is Sule going to be up here for the corner? Let me switch over to Ronaldo, maybe. Let me go ahead and switch over to someone like, I don't know, Witzel, maybe. Nah, he actually doesn't come up for the corner. That's that's something that's happened like three times now. Like, EA just don't want to don't want to like put him up there for some odd reason. Like, he's six foot five. I want to try to score a header with him. Like, yeah, the jumping ability is not great, but he just doesn't come up for the corner. And I have no idea why. He's going to through ball down low. He does. I thought he was going to go for the extra pass. He doesn't. And he takes it around me. That was really well played. Very composed for my opponent there. I thought he was just going to shoot with Bernardo Silva. He doesn't. Let's go for this ball. It's going to be hard. There's no way he's going to be able... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Now, you guys can clearly see he passed it to Cahill there. I have switched up my team a little bit because... I uh, thought maybe it's because I had too many tall players and that was the reason he wasn't coming up for the corner. So I took out like Rivaldo, put in Cahill. And yeah, that's not the case. But what a pass. So it is time to give my final thoughts on the card. We ended up playing four games of Sule and we did not get ourselves a single goal. We didn't have an opportunity. We didn't have a chance to get a goal with him. I cannot believe EA didn't put Sule inside my opponent's box when I had a corner. I even switched up the team, by the way. Like, I took out Sol Campbell. I took out, uh, who was it, Rivaldo for Cahill as well because I thought maybe it was because I had too many tall players in the team. I thought that was the issue, right? It just wasn't, apparently. That was not the issue. EA just didn't want to put Sule inside my opponent's box. Now, I can understand why, because he's jumping is terrible and he did lose out on a few headers when my opponent had a corner and the ball came towards him he did miss out on a few headers so i can understand why ea didn't do it but come on he's six foot five right yes the jumping ability is terrible right and yes when he jumps he doesn't leave the ground it's simple as that but like come on he still has a decent chance to win in a header no i can guarantee you though if he matches up against a flashback brand 
oh yeah, he's losing a header. Or even like a team with a Ruben Diaz, he loses the header because of that jumping ability. But yeah, still, EA, I don't know why they didn't put him inside my opponent's box. It is what it is, though. The second thing I want to talk about is uh, the pace. The pace on this card is insane. Like... <laughs> He is, he is definitely up there with one of the fastest centre-backs I have seen in FIFA 22. He's so quick. He catches up to everyone. He gets out to play. It's like, you guys saw, I was just selecting this guy, sprinting out to my opponent and just going in for a side tackle. And he was always coming out with a ball. See, so at a pace, beautiful. Passing ability. Hold on. Hold on a second. 82 long passing. Mm -mm. I don't think so, EA. I do not think so. You guys saw the curve. He's got 33 curve. No chance. That ball was curving around defenders. I could not believe how good his long passing was. So yeah, passing ability, I was really happy with it. Dribbling ability. That's where it just goes downhill pretty much because you can go for one, maybe two turns. But as soon as you go for the third or fourth turn, that's it. It's GG. You're going to lose the ball because his third or fourth turn is so, so slow. You can definitely tell he has got 73 agility and 70 dribbling like there was a, a situation where i i thought i turned with him because i did it for so long like i was holding the analog stick that way for so long but he wasn't turning and then ended up just passing and we ended up losing the ball so yeah dribbling ability it's going to be very annoying if uh, you end up using this card in your team defending ability insane insane like that reach is outrageous. And the thing with his showdown card, right, which I didn't like too much, was the animations. He, he was always getting himself into, like, the wrong animation, and it felt weird. But with this card, oh, yeah, he got himself into the, all the right animations. The slide tackles were beautiful. The standing tackles were very good. The interceptions was very good. So, yeah, defending, insane, and the physicals, insane as well. The strength on this card is a joke. He holds off anyone. He's six foot five. They can't get around him, especially with 99 strength. Yeah, they cannot get around him. Now, is he worth the grind? Is he worth the time to put into? 100%. I cannot believe they released this card as a uh, as an objective, by the way. Cannot believe it, especially with how popular Sule has been this year. They released him for free. Oh yeah, it's a huge W from EA. Now, where does he go in the defenders tier list? It's a hard one, man. It, it is. Because for me, he isn't better than Varan, okay? He isn't better than Team Adia Ruben Diaz. He isn't better than Chiellini. You guys know what card I'm talking about when it comes down to Chiellini. He isn't better than someone like uh, someone like Marquinhos or Mings, right? But his tackling ability is one of the best I have seen in this game. That's the thing. And his pace, as I said to you guys, as I said to you guys it is stupid. The thing that really does hold him back is that dribbling ability and that jumping. He does miss out on headers. That's an issue. That is a big issue. He misses out on a he misses out on a lot of headers, and that dribbling ability is so so annoying to deal with this late in the FIFA. Where does he go? He's so close to an S tier, so close. But I am gonna throw him into the A plus because of that dribbling ability and because of that jumping ability as well. But as I said to you guys. The reach on this card is simply insane. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, though. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.